Yeah, we're trying to get it. That's kind of been a, the ongoing joke around the locker room is, you know, Gary has a million catches and one touchdown. Um, and then yesterday in practice, he does a remarkable play and he goes out on the half yard line. So it, it's uh, it's been an ongoing joke, but uh, that is an emphasis. You know, we we need guys to score touchdowns. David Seals has a great ability of finding his way in the end zone. We need to find some of those other guys uh, to, that can go out there and score when they get the ball. For Gary, it seems that you know, when we talked to him yesterday, it seems that he's humble enough to not mind that much if he's not the one scoring. I think he understands his role in the team. Do you agree? I agree. You know, I, I think uh, he's one of the more selfless kids that we got on our team. Um, you know, it, yesterday in practice, we moved him to, he played four different positions in practice, and he didn't say one thing about it, didn't complain. He went out there and he did the job to his best of ability. Uh, he does uh, the dialogue that he brings, like on the sidelines, is always interesting because he understands that, it understands the game so well that. You know, he'll come off and tell you, you know, a certain play is going to get this kid open, you know, which, uh, you know, a lot of receivers have that mean mentality, but he's all about the team. Coach Carrier has told us that he's kind of paired up some of the older guys like David and Gary with the incoming players. Do you appreciate that kind of mentorship? There, there's so much knowledge within the wide receiving, wide receiving core in general uh, that it's probably important for these guys to share their knowledge with the younger players. Yeah, I think that's huge. You know, I, I think those younger players, uh, you know their heads are spinning right now, and when you got some guys like that that can, you know, comfort them in a way where, uh, and 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 kind of teach them, uh, and show them the ropes is always comforting for those young guys. I think, you know, here in about a couple years, those young guys are going to look back and they're going to appreciate the help that that this these mature group of receivers are going to be giving the advice to. No problem. Uh, you know, the, the main thing is, is I want to see the continuity with the O-line. I want to see them mirror up their footwork with the offense line. And having Coach Blackwell here, he's done an unbelievable job at getting that accomplished. So uh, the, that's been the biggest emphasis in the offseason moving forward is making sure those guys are on the same page with the offensive line. Um, very talented group. You know, I think there's a lot of guys that uh, are, are jumping off tape right now. Um, but I want to see more consistency in that room, and right now they're showing it. So for you, how important is it to like one guy to how early can for one guy to step above the other, especially when it comes to working with Will and stuff like that? Um, we we get a lot of work at that, you know, especially with having Matt all of last year. So Will's already got uh, comfort with Matt. Um, Bucci Grassi is. Uh, he, he's coming along great, you know, and I, I think there's a healthy competition with those guys, and, and Wick just moves them in and out like all the time, which is uh, a healthy mix. But when you get down to the comfort level of like running with the ones and twos, they're together so many times. We do so many reps in uh, in this off season, this fall camp, that, uh, that uh, it's kind of interchangeable. It is, and that's what you want to get to, where if something does happen to one of them, he's comfortable with the other one just as much. So.